Hi, I'm Erica Bursler. I am the VP of Product Communications and Support at Cosmolex. And um, I've done many of these feature spotlights in the past before. And today I'm really excited to talk about um, Cosmolex, of course, for those of you who are not familiar, is an all-in-one cloud legal practice management solution that provides everything from your CRM to your uh, daily matter management to your billing and also your legal accounting in one tool. And today we're actually talking about a fun add-on, which is websites. That is fun, Erica. Uh, mm -hmm. First thing, thanks for being with me again. Uh, I always appreciate you being here. We we always learn a ton about Cosmolex, and it is a, an all-in-one solution. You know, from from soup to nuts. It's y'all, even with even individually as Cosmolex, but then you have your sister companies um, like mm -hmm. Law Ruler that can extend things even even further. Um, so, yes. but I'm really excited to hear about how you guys are are um, helping attorneys um, spin up and get good websites going. Yeah. So uh, I think that uh, it, it should be a given that every business should have a website, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, we believe it or not, there are still law firms that don't, or they have something that's just as simple as a name and a phone number mm -hmm. on a page. Uh, so I think part of it is we want to educate on what's a good website, not just a website right. and how best to manage that, especially in the, in the smaller firms. Right. Because we're not talking about just a, um, digital business card anymore. We're, mm -hmm. we're beyond that. We're way beyond that. And so if you don't have anything, in my opinion, um, and I think a lot of my opinion, in my opinion, you're, you're way behind. And if you just have a digital business card, then you're, you're pretty behind too. Um, yep. so, uh, yeah, let's, let's see how, let's see under the hood or how people can, uh, add on this product. Sure. Absolutely. Um, so won't be focusing too much on the core product of, of Cosmix today. However, it will tie in a little bit towards or throughout the overview of our website offering. So in general, um, we are offering a ability to get your websites or service for you to get your website set up and also maintained. So instead of the do-it-yourself model, we follow the done-for-you model. Okay. Uh, so that way you can kind of hands-free, you know, work with us to get the desired end product that you want, but you don't have to worry about being a web developer or a marketing strategist or, you know, a WordPress admin right. or hiring those people to figure out how to not just set up, but also maintain your website going forward. Right. Because that, that is, you know, as easy as WordPress and things like that try to make it, it's still a you know full-time job or at least a part-time job trying to do that. And unless you just have a thing for building the websites, it's probably not worth your time as an attorney. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, unfortunately, we, we talked a little bit about this when we talked about CRM as well. Marketing often does not get the attention that it should. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it can be perceived as very time consuming, very tedious. However, it is so critical to any business growing their business, but especially law firms and especially smaller law firms that it's a little bit harder for them to get their name out there. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's important that we prioritize. And I think there's a shift now of prioritizing marketing in law firms and how to do that more effectively and efficiently. Because it's not just about having a website, but how do I make sure I have brand recognition, proper SEO, keyword optimization? Uh, how do I make sure my website makes me look credible mm -hmm. uh, and has valuable content there? Um, what are the call to actions or the, the actual convenience or interactions that, that a prospect or client can do on that site as well. So through offering Cosmox websites, we're hoping to really get across that, not only take this off of your plate, but have a really great end result that can impact the growth of your business as well. So is this something that is going to um, help my SEO or, or at least kind of be thoughtful about, about my SEO that yeah. is it, or is it just kind of a, we're putting this up here and good luck, everybody. Absolutely the former. Um, so yeah. what I'll do is I'll walk you through a sample website and give you an idea of what we prioritize and how mm -hmm. we feel we're different from a lot of the website tools that are out there. Uh, so you can get a sense of the quality that we really strive for, right. not just, hey, you have a URL and somebody can go there, but what's important to have there and how easy it is to navigate and easy to use for the people visiting the site. Yeah. And, you know, initially when I heard about Cosmolex having this offering of, of the websites, I think it, it felt like a little bit of a jump for me, you know, because mm -hmm. I think of law practice, I think of Cosmolex as law practice management software and it's, it is, 
but it's comprehensive all in one law practice management software. And when you go into that CRM aspect, when you go into yes. that marketing aspect, it really isn't that big of a, of a jump. And I can see where it might even make more sense as somebody who's trying to set up their marketing to come at it from a CRM standpoint of like, where do I yeah. want these things to go? And then build the, the website for that. That was us dipping our toe into marketing in a way when we, mm -hmm. when we added CRM to offering. And I think there are at least three, I'll call them integration points in which the, the website can actually field information into Cosmlex or into CRM. So it's not just, Hey, you have this completely independent website, right. but how can I leverage this website in a way that actually brings data into the system or complete certain actions without me having to get involved? Um, and really yeah. automating that interaction with the clients. And I think that's an important point to kind of hang on for, for just a moment. That's what sets these websites that I would call a, you know, digital business card apart from these types of websites, What you're looking for is a website that is actually part of your company, part of your tech stack, something that's helping you connect with yeah. your, with your clients and bring information in directly yeah. into your CRM or practice management solution. Absolutely. So I figured I'd give you a little bit of a tour, like I said, of one of our sample sites and point out how this is more than just things on a page uh, you got and how the, it can... the town I was born in back there. Oh, perfect. See, <laughs> you know, I'd love to take the credit and say I did that on purpose, but coincidence, maybe I'll just take the credit. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. I think you might be able to see the hospital I was born Look in. Look at that. that oh, wow. Really fun. So this was built for you. Yes. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to go um, off topic there, but no, that's uh, okay. Just hey, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful photo, so mm -hmm. it catches your eye. Um, but yeah, a few things to kind of focus on as to what we value when when building a site for a law firm is the first thing is clean, modern design. Mm -hmm. um, there is such a traditionalist view when it comes to law firms of following. You know, I've had the same website for forty years. That goes for any technology, to be honest. I've had mm -hmm. the same X for 40 years. Um, but this is your brand. You know, this is how people view a firm or a business. And I tell law firms the same thing all the time is, what if you're looking for a business, whether it's another lawyer, a doctor, any type of service, you judge based on their website. You say, eh, I don't know if I want to work for them or they don't have a website that says something. And you, you, you always make those judgments. So having that initial impression of just being modern, clean, um, and informative is mm -hmm. enough, very important. Right. You know, and keeping within some of the confines of what a, what one would expect in a lawyer's website, but still going a little bit more modern. I, I know my father always used to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But mm -hmm. sometimes if it ain't broke, you still need to fix it. You mm -hmm. know, if your website's been there for quite frankly, at this point for the last five years and it hasn't yeah. changed, then it, I mean, it's broke. <laughs> yeah. And marketing takes a little bit of work. You know, mm -hmm. the, the, the way keywords work, the way Google works, the way algorithms work changes all the time. Um, which is why I think working with people who know that information Right. Because most of the time lawyers don't, unless that's a hobby of theirs, right. uh, is important because just having a website that nobody can find doesn't benefit you at all. That's true. That's true. So in terms of the modern design, so I'll just kind of scroll through so you could see a little bit of the layout, images, um, mm -hmm. just design elements overall that make it a very friendly website to work with. We also make this mobile friendly. And I don't know if this will come up... Um, kind of show up here. I think you'll be able to see it, but you could see that even though when I minimize my screen, it's all reformatted. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very mobile friendly because many people, including all of us, work from our phones or right. look up things from our phones. So you want it to be just as presentable if somebody's looking on a smaller screen or on a mobile device mm -hmm. than if they are on a, you know, a full monitor, let's say. Absolutely. Um, also, little things that most people don't think about, like hyperlinks, you know, being able to click on a phone number and dial directly mm -hmm. from your Google number or whatever that user may have. Or like at the bottom, you saw I had contact information, being able to click an email directly from here, being able mm -hmm. to dive right into, you know, Google Maps directly from here. Having that interactive and instead of having to copy paste to something else also makes it just more usable and user friendly to whoever's visiting your site. 
hundred percent, especially if they're doing it on, on mobile, you know, I, I, yeah. at this point expect to be able to click on a, uh, on a phone number or even an address and mm -hmm. it, it comes up in something convenient on my phone. You brought up a great point, which is expectation. We talk uh, about this a lot with um, a few of the features that we talk about, like payments and CRM and client portals. While yes, it's convenient for the firm, it's more so what are your um, potential clients just expecting these days? Yeah. Um, it's no longer, oh, you're a step ahead. If you have a really nice, cool website, it is, no, you should. And if you don't, then I, I look at your business a little bit differently. So mm -hmm. it, it is that keeping up with the Joneses and making sure that you remain competitive amongst all the law firms that are out there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless you have a specific business need, and I can't think of very many, to not have a website, you know, it, it needs to be clean, modern, and and working for you and your clients. Absolutely. Some of my favorite features um, are at the bottom left, we have this accessibility widget. Okay. Our law firm clients, rightfully so, <laughs> love this feature. Mm -hmm. Love this feature. It's incredibly inclusive. Um, everything from just making bigger text, spacing of the text. Um, I want to have my cursor show up a little bit larger on the screen. Mm -hmm. I want certain tool tips. I want different line height, saturation, color, contrast. I can adjust this to my needs. Um, and of course, I can reset it if I need to. So it just gives that uh, peace of mind knowing that you're providing additional features for those who might need it without a lot of additional effort or time. Mm -hmm. And this is adjustable for the user. This is on the front Correct. end there. This is not something yes. that, that one would have to, that the attorney would have to do or their office would have to do on the back end. Great point. Yeah, I am just visiting this website, to mm -hmm. be clear. This is not the law firm's administrative view. Um, this is I'm visiting the law firm's website, and I am able to click on that little accessibility widget at the bottom left mm -hmm. and see those options and toggle them per my needs if needed. I love that. I also love, since we have quite a large client base in Canada as well as other countries, right. we do have the ability to have a language selector on the site as well. Very cool. So I could just choose French, for instance. It's going to go ahead and translate that site for me. And I can choose what languages I want available. We have over 100 languages available okay. for that on-the-spot translation. That's what I was going to ask. Is it, or, or is it beyond English, French, and, and Spanish? But... Absolutely. I think these are the most common. Yes. Yeah. But so far, we haven't come across a language that we did not support. Okay. <laughs> so okay. I'm sure there are. Yeah. But um, but yeah, for, for our clientele, who's mostly in North America, we are able to provide you know, like I said, over a hundred languages. We had multiple um, websites that were multilingual this year when uh, in the top 10 of our website contests. So I oh, okay. personally, I think that is a big uh, accessibility issue as well. Yeah. I love the on the spot translation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't have to have a site in English plus a site in French plus a site in, you know, German. Right. I can just give the user the ability to adjust based on what language they're speaking. And especially in, in areas like immigration law, mm -hmm. you know, you can have clients of all different types of nationalities that speak all different types of languages. And so it makes it, it makes it a lot easier for them to find you. And I'm sure they appreciate that when right. looking for a new lawyer, they're like, oh, this person understands their clientele. Right. Um, and that kind of works in a law firm's favor. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, yeah. I what I think of as a, a lawyer in doing that, the thing for me, I would be a little wary of, is this a a great translation? You know, because mm -hmm. a lot of times when when we're thinking about translations as lawyers, certainly ones that go into court and litigate and do depositions, we're thinking about is the translator somebody that um, is like licensed by the court or something like that. But these these we're talking about marketing. Yeah, this is this is bringing information. Are we getting this information across to people? We're not talking about giving legal advice on here. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I don't think we we don't necessarily have to have the extreme level of known translation that we would for court. But also keep in mind that one of the differences that we provide is we're providing a lot of this content for you. Mm. So if we're providing the content, yeah. we're not translating some random text that you decided to put on the website, it is um, predefined content that we're mm -hmm. putting on there that we would already have that translation for basically. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I asked that question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll actually, that's kind of one of the items is, is again, how we set ourselves apart. I said mm -hmm. the done for you instead of do it yourself, a big part of that. And a big part of marketing is coming up with very credible content. Right. Um, you know, when I go to somebody's website, how do I know that they know what they're doing or what their specialties are, or, you know, even having blogs or additional material that show that you have a deeper knowledge or um, experience in that area, your website can say a lot because the website is a place where somebody is learning about your business without possibly ever having spoken to you mm -hmm. or your firm or anybody there. So they're making prejudgments. Um, and this is essentially your first impression is when somebody goes to your website. So my fear though, with, um, something that's done for me in this way, and I'm sure you guys have solved this, um, is if I'm an immigration attorney in Nashville and I, um, come to Cosmolex and I get a website and mm -hmm. we're using kind of done for you information, and there's another immigration attorney in Nashville that does the same thing. Are we going to have the same information on the, on the site? You are not. Um, we actually take a lot of time in that initial process of working with the firm mm -hmm. to uh, work with various templates or types of sources of information or types of blog posts and tweak it with you. Okay. You know, figuring out what is best fit for your uh, practice. Do you have different types of areas that you work in? Like here we have practice area with all these different menus. Um, and I can choose what I want or don't want on this particular page and tweak it accordingly in that setup process. Okay. So, so we done... do our best to make it unique and every site to be unique. Okay, great. Yeah. So mm -hmm. done for you, but not, not, uh, done the same way. Every... Not cookie cutter. For... Yes. Not cookie yeah. cutter. Thank you. That's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so you can, you can specialize in certain areas, get this content built for you. We include, um, you know, pages, actual web pages, but also blog posts as well, mm -hmm. okay. um, that can be included on the site if they choose to do that. Um, a couple other things is the convenience. Uh, so how do I interact, not just prospects, but also clients interact with the page? You probably saw here at the top, we do have some actions or buttons here that can be taken by whoever's visiting the site. Mm -hmm. um, a consultation button can link directly to, let's say I have a Calendly link um, or, you know, any type of public meeting link that I have, we can embed that directly within the page so mm -hmm. that this can be scheduled directly from the website. Okay. Uh, you also, uh, more about integrating with Cosmolex specifically, and by the way, if you're using Cosmolex and you have your calendar integration set up, any of those invites will go directly into Cosmolex as well. That's what I was going to assume and, and was going to ask yeah. is, is that's, we start with that kind of integration and becoming way more than just a, a business card just with those Cosmo, with the consultation button. Mm -hmm. And this can go into like even office has a booking feature. Mm -hmm. So we know a lot of law firms that might just use even just the office plugin to mm -hmm. get the bookings from the site onto their Outlook calendar, and they can integrate that directly with their practice management tool. Okay. We also have the pay now button. So as you know, we do have uh, payments as an offering as well with Cosmo X. Mm -hmm. And this is one of my favorite features because it is a, what we call a generic global link. So when I click on this as a client, I'm coming here, it asks for certain information like um, obviously what's your payment amount, who's the client, and then this feeds directly into the system. So it's not for any specific client and it's not for any specific matter or invoice mm -hmm. because it's just a generic link. But in Cosmo X, we have this area here called website payments, where those payments will feed into here, I can review them and I could say, I want to link this as a retainer. Mm -hmm. Or if I go to my business account, uh, let me actually choose my business account here. I could select something and link it as an invoice payment. So it allows you to, while there's many services that provide these generic global payment links, mm -hmm. how does that get into your billing system and actually connect to that billing record without having to do double entry? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have client portal. So with Cosmox, we do include a client portal that they can choose to enable. And this will take them directly to the client portal login page where the client can log in with their credentials and access all the usual information they would as if they went directly to the site. Um, and for those who may not know through the client portal, they can share invoices, documents, calendar events. They can even pay their invoices uh, or upload documents to the firm as well. Okay.
Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Mm -hmm. And then you do have contacts. So you mentioned CRM. And here, if I have a, a contact, I can actually just complete a contact form. And then this could feed through APIs directly into our CRM application. Right. So this can essentially come in as a lead and they could decide, is this, you know, then go through all the marketing activities to decide if this is a fit for the firm or somebody worth pursuing. Right. And this is a, a far cry from when I was setting up my first contact page where it just emailed you the information and yes. had to look at it and go through all those email. Um, the key is looking day. at it. Nobody, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. If you're doing marketing well, you should have a lot of traffic on your page. Mm -hmm. And with that many emails coming in, it's very hard. Usually it's like an administrator right. who's just like, hey, keep an eye on this inbox. And they just can't keep up with it. And so there could be a lot of, you know, diamonds, a lot of golden nuggets in all of that junk sometimes. Um, and to be able to get that out, that's when a CRM is really handy to to help them prioritize and really kind of um, um, evaluate the quality of those leads. Right, right. Well, worst case scenario, you know, you can usually, most attorneys know of one question that will either make or break mm -hmm. every single um, lead or, or potential new client. And it's a really simple one. You know, a lot of times something like what state are you in even can yes. throw people out. You yeah. Know, and, and just getting rid of the, of the stuff that's not going to fit is going to save you time. Even if we're not honing in on exactly, you know, creating, um, you know, meetings for the perfect client. Well, we really just want to get rid of the 50% that are not a fit at all. And then we've done a ton already. Yep. I mean, there are people that go to a site asking for help with a completely different practice area that we don't mm -hmm. even do. <laughs> mm -hmm. The other thing is, um, which is important when I talk about content and the maintenance. So not only will we set up the work with you to set up the website and get it set up as great as possible, you also get quarterly updates. So if you decide we're not doing this area of law anymore, or we would mm -hmm. need updates to our staffing page, you work with us to get those updates done for you because you don't want to have like up here, I have this practice area list. You don't want this listing stuff you don't do anymore. Right. Because that leads to a lot of that lead junk again. So um, being able to work directly with us instead of having to prioritize that yourself, which very often goes to the very bottom of the list because most of us are not marketers, at least the, in the law firms, mm -hmm. um, they can just, you know, say, Hey, these are updates that I need. And it gets taken for, uh, care of for them. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a, a quarterly thing, which, you know, I, I know some people might think, well, what if I need it faster than that? Uh, a, you're not going to need it faster than that. B, <laughs> yeah. you're not going to do it faster than that. No. You know, you're, you're not going to jump on and, and, and if you are trying to, to make changes and adjustments, let's say to practice area more quickly than quarterly, you need to be thinking, uh, more strategically about, mm -hmm. you know, how, you, about how your business is being run anyway. Yeah. I mean, if we surveyed, uh, law firms with websites and said, when was the last time you've updated your website? I don't <laughs> think. Unless they're a brand new firm, I don't think anybody's going to say within the last three months. <laughs> no, no, um, that's exactly right. It, it's something that's unfortunately out of sight, out of mind, mm -hmm. because most of us are not web visiting our own websites very often. Um, so we, it just does, we don't think of it. So this way, it's something to revisit every few months and say, oh, these are the updates that I want. Get them done. And then you don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and when they're, you know, when the website looks like this, when it's clean and, and is working like this, you're, you're happy and proud to revisit it every mm -hmm. three months instead of wanting to avoid it because you know that you need to do a huge, um, you know, update or renovation to it. Yeah. And we'll adjust, like we talked in the beginning about keyword optimization and mm -hmm. SEO. We have a primary focus on that because again, we're curating the content. Mm -hmm. So the content is very SEO and keyword focused. Um, and that way, if you're needing to change, like you're, you're dropping out of practice area or adding something else that is all taken into consideration so that that new content is still optimized, uh, for searches and leads and traffic to your website as well. Mm -hmm. and, and again, I'll, I'll kind of note that SEO optimization and, and, uh, marketing through SEO and kind of those natural, uh, search engine things, they take a little bit of time to get started anyway, you know, yeah. and there's, there's a lot of of kind of a long tail of what that affects. And so, you know, having, living with it for a moment and then making small changes, you're not going in and, you know, making SEO adjustments every single day um, to, to, to win the game. Yeah. And you need a trend. You need time to see if something's working. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Um, that's one of the most sometimes frustrating things about marketing is for most activities, it does not try something and you'll see an immediate cause and effect. Right. Uh, it usually takes a little bit of time and sometimes a lot of variables to see what that cause and effect is and then try to repeat that process um, going forward is the key. But things are, are always changing. So having somebody else to kind of adapt and know, hey, the market, because we are legal focused. So we're looking specifically at the legal industry and how to optimize our clients' websites in the legal industry. That's what we're focusing on in terms of the trends, even in in the market of website marketing or digital marketing in general, how best to get that traffic. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I think in general, uh, I'm personally really excited because like we spoke about, we're, we're slowly dipping into things like marketing. And my biggest passion is to help lawyers run a better business, Mm -hmm. even though most of them are not business owners by, I shouldn't say by choice because they all choose it, Mm -hmm. but that wasn't why they became a lawyer half the time. It's more so they want to practice law and they want to service their clients. And so hopefully all these different tools that they can choose to add on or not can help them to do their jobs better, more effectively, bring more profit to the business and better utilize their staff's time as well, while still being a very competitive uh, player in in the legal field. Mm-hmm. I, I like that. And I know that our, our listeners, our viewers and, and our audience would, would certainly, um, that speaks to them. Um, well, Erica, I, I uh, appreciate you showing me around here. You guys are really kind of um, changing what it means or, or at least on the lead of what it means to be an all-in-one um, long yeah. haul practice management system. So I tell you, y- y'all, y'all keep making me change my definition of, uh, <laughs> of the, the product. So we'll be the all in one plus, all in one plus this, all in yes. one plus that. Yes. <laughs> yes, we'll just keep adding the those to it. So if people want to learn more about Cosmolex, um, the website builder, and and all of that, all that it has, and all the all in one, um, they can go to Cosmolex dot com get a free trial, get a demo, um, and, um, see all the other stuff that's in there. So again, uh, cosmolex.com, Erica, uh, thank you for, for being with me. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.